James was born with a cleft palate, and because he had this cleft palate, he couldn't, wasn't able to speak. People couldn't understand him. Completely fixable with a simple operation, but he had no health care coverage, so he couldn't get it fixed. Finally, he, somebody voluntarily fixed it for him. They fixed it when he was 50 years old. James lived for 50 years in America, not in a third world country, in America, not able to speak because he had no health care coverage. Think about that for a second. I listened to his story. He was so, James, stand up with me if you don't mind. I listened to his story. First of all, this, this guy reminds me so much of all the people I grew up with, you know, my grandparents, the people who worked in the mill with my dad. He's just a, he's just a very unassuming gracious man just a good human being you know he's not, he's not a pretentious bone in his body and he's just grateful that somebody came along and helped him and that's a great thing it's great it's good that that's the way he feels that's not what I felt when he told me his story I sat there listening to it and thinking to myself how long are we going to let drug companies and insurance companies and their lobbyists run this country I mean really America doesn't belong to them America belongs to us James Lowe got his voice back. Isn't it time for you to get your voice back? That's what this election is about. The, and James's wife, it's, it's kind of interesting. James's wife said, you know, he didn't talk for 50 years, and now he's got his, now he's got his voice back. He won't quit talking. Uh, so I, he, I'm going to let him say just a word. I'm, I'm proud to have him here with me. James? Well, first of all, I want to thank everybody here and Mr. Edward for having me here. And I'm going to tell you all something. When I first met him, I knew right off. I felt the love and kindness this man here has in his heart for people like me and you all. And if we want something changed in this world, there's a man to do it, running for president right there. Thank you all.